Welcome to Everything Currency. I'm your host, Jay, and today I just want to talk about two things. The other day I mentioned in my video that we're getting bull run ready, and what do we have here? Holding up above these uh, new resistance lines, getting some higher lows, feeling real good. So we gotta wait for it to go down a little bit before we get excited, because that's to see how that works out. Um, everybody is super bullish. And, uh, you know, of course, there's reasons to get bullish. The technical say so. They say get bullish. But uh, we still got to be careful. We got to wait till we get some things confirmed. You know, wait till the week's closed. If my, I got to be careful. I got to wait till the week's closed. Got to wait, wait till some things are confirmed. Um, all coins. Bitcoin SV. Uh, be careful. Because this whole Craig Wright Satoshi thing could just go up, belly up, upside down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I don't think it's really an exit scam. I just think that, yeah, the hype is there. Like, there's hype there. Like, people really believe that big, you know, I don't know if they're just bots or not, but I get comments on Twitter and on some of my videos where people say, Hey man, you're wrong. You shouldn't even be calling Bitcoin Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin SV is a real Bitcoin. You know, like when uh the YouTube thing happened, someone told me like, well your your videos got taken down because you're representing Bitcoin, and it's not that's not really Bitcoin. That's some you know like people who have like conspiracies. Sometimes they think of like the craziest stuff, you know, like just think about the flat earth theory, you know, I don't know if you believe that or not, but it's like, bro, we got proof. We got proof that it ain't flat and y'all still think it's flat. Like, I don't believe the proof. So, anything happened with that, you know, but I just feel like once he's not able, once he's not able to pull these Bitcoin out, uh, there's going to be a big problem with, with that. But, with that being said, the news always has to make something happen, and I just feel like, you know, Bitcoin XB was beaten down like all the other all the other Bitcoin coins, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin XV, Bitcoin Private, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Platinum, Super Bitcoin, Bitcoin 2, like all those coins were down and they were all pumping. So it just goes to show you that like it's it's one of those things where uh, we might be in a situation where, you know, people get in and like when retail got in in 2017, you know, around the time that I got in, it's like, I got in with a little bit of knowledge already. I was already studying it for a little bit, but I waited to get in. I was smart about it. And then, you know, I just wasn't smart about holding it. But a lot of people, they get in and they just want to buy something because people say, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this, you know, like. A lot of people won't admit it, like a lot of people got in last time in, in 2017 is because someone told them to buy Bitcoin. You know, there's billions of dollars in that, so that was, and, you know, all those people buying Bitcoin and sitting somewhere else, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, so people believe in it, and if it goes belly up, then that, that's going to be all bad, you know. So just pay attention to the charts. Nothing could have predicted that that run up. You know, actually, you know what? Every time Craig Wright kind of says something, people start getting all happy. But um, back to the real Bitcoin, BTC, the real Bitcoin, at least the coin that I call the real Bitcoin. You might call Bitcoin private. Some people say Monero is what Bitcoin's supposed to be. Some people say Satoshi Vision, whatever. At the end of the day, like, I'm just gonna rock with the community and what everybody's using. And, you know, in the crypto community, BTC is the king. So that's the one I'm gonna roll with. Is there gonna be, a, if there's a flippening between Bitcoin SV and BTC, <laughs> uh, you know, then I guess I'll just start having a trade Ethereum. <laughs> Dogs, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. If that happens, you gotta do what you gotta do. But 
I just don't believe it's gonna happen because this guy's just pushing back things and pushing back prices. Hey, look at this. You, hold up. Look at that. Isn't that a nice view? Like, isn't that better than looking at my face? You know? But, uh, yeah, man. We just wanna um, make some money this year. Don't get too excited. Yeah. I mean, there's still some bearish signs, but not a lot of them. Not a lot of bear signs. Uh, it's looking pretty, pretty bullish. But, you know, everything changes real quick in crypto. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, is Craig Satoshi? I don't think so. I think, I think he might have had a part in the beginning of it. Just like Dave Kleiman and a lot of other people. I think it wasn't just... You know, like for this thing to be what it is today, it wasn't just one person, it was just one. I mean, it could have just been one genius. I don't think it was just one genius. I think it was a couple of them who had some things to say. Um, other altcoins, I mean, Ethereum was up, XRP was up. Um, today, I think. Oh, my XLM. So I have some XLM a little bit, you know, actually quite a bit of XLM that's just kind of been sleeping. When I looked at my portfolio, I was like, oh, okay, XLM, having some good days. So, you know, everything's kind of doing good right now, but we'll see, we need to reach out to get back in here. And yeah, so let me turn this off because there's no more here. So yeah, man. I just been uh, on the go a lot lately, so it's been hard for me to like sit in front of the, sit around and kind of look at the charts right now. So, you know, when I do get a chance to look at them, I'll try to set up a few things, a couple stops, a couple alerts. You know, set just set a couple alerts on your phone. That way, you know when something happens that you're waiting for, and then just have a strategy on when to get out. Um, that's kind of the best thing to do at this point in the game. Uh, but yeah, man, that's, it's looking good. Like I, I'm, um, liking the way my Bitcoin, you know, how much money I made in the last couple of days, of course. Like for me, I wish I would have kept my Bitcoin from the, from the, uh, from the forks. Like, next time, every time, if there's like a Bitcoin fork or a fork where that gives me another coin, I'm just going to keep the other coin and not and not get rid of it. You know, like, even Ethereum Classic. Oh, yeah, Ethereum Classic, I was going to say. That's the one that I was going to say. Ethereum Classic was doing good, too. Ethereum Classic was skyrocketing and taking off. So, for me, it's like, at the end of the day, man, I, I got to keep an eye on anything that's... Um, working out but of course i'm not going to invest into something that i don't believe in like bitcoin sv i just don't believe in it and uh at any moment i feel like you know one of the, a coin like that could die you know like they say the hash rate so low on that thing you know let me see you need light yeah the hash rate the hash rate is so low on, on bitcoin sv that like that coin could just die off you know and that's something that i'm just like yeah you know somebody could easily hack that thing and then these pumps you know it always pumps like four times four x and then it dumps comes back down it hasn't did nothing since it split from uh bitcoin cash um craig wright's just continuously showing up with false info so yeah man you know like i even saw an interview where craig wright said that uh you know he said Satoshi stole the Bitcoin white paper from me. Or, yeah. He's like, Satoshi stole the white paper. All right, bro. If you're Satoshi, how did he steal it? Like, come on, Bitcoin SV followers. Answer that question for me. If, <laughs> if someone stole the white paper from Craig, how did he write it? I mean, how if Satoshi stole the white paper from Craig... Let me start all over and rephrase the question before I jump them out. 
if someone stole, if Satoshi stole the white paper from Craig, how is he Satoshi? It just doesn't add up. It, I can't even say it right because it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. But, uh, you know. Yeah, man. A lot of coins are pumping. Hopefully, I'm just thinking on the way back up to... I'm, I'm, I'm mainly paying attention to the market cap chart. And um, the market cap chart has some some places that it needs to get above, some resistance that it needs to get above, and nobody's really talking about that. So the total market cap chart needs to be going up for us to really be having a nice bull run. That means new money's coming in. And in my opinion, it's not even gonna be old money. Like you remember, if you remember back in the last bull run, um, the market cap was almost to a trillion dollars. So to me, until we get almost back to that point, it's not really new money. You know what I'm saying? It's just people who already know about crypto and people who kind of know what's up and little, you know, like hedge funds and people who actually know about Bitcoin. Um, new money, retail money, I feel like once we get over the trillion dollar market cap, that's when we're going to see a big bull run. You know what I mean? By that time, you know, Bitcoin will probably be hitting 20,000 because that's, I mean, that's where it was at last time. But then there was a lot of money in other coins. And there's not a lot of that money in other coins now. Um, so we'll see. I'm just saying, like, once the market cap starts getting, you know, half a trillion, it starts, once the market cap starts moving, then I'm more, you know, and it has to move more than $30 billion. Because if you notice, or $40 billion, because if you notice, there's always a trend, you know, like when Bitcoin pumps, we see the market up 40 trillion or, for, or 40 billion. Damn, uh, this video is going to be so confusing. <laughs> But yeah, keep on with me real quick. I apologize. Um, if the Bitcoin market cap, it, it rises, right? It'll go up like the total market. I mean, the total market cap of cryptocurrency will go up like $40 billion to $45 billion. And then it'll drop $40 billion to $45 billion. Um, I've been noticing this since... I first got into crypto because I was just like, huh, every, you know, I was seeing these big spikes and, you know, it's like one day you would wake up and your bag was over 20%, you know? So it's like, boom, oh shoot, I made $500 today. And then the next day it was down like 20%. So you're like, oh shoot, I lost $500 today. So it was like volatility like that, like crazy. And, um, I started noticing that the the jumps were like 30 billion each time and I'm like, hey, that's pretty coordinated like, you know. I don't know if retail is you know, that diverse with their with how they do things, you know, like I feel like it would it would fluctuate a little bit more than just being straight 30, da -da -da -da, you know, another 30. 30 up, 30 down, 30 up, 30 down. And now I notice that it's been like 40 up, 40 down, 45 up, 45 down, 40 up, 40 down, 45 up, 45 down. And uh, everybody talks about the market being manipulated, but I see that. These little fluctuations in the price go in like straight, solid chunks. And um, until I just see like some different type of movement, or like I said, to me, the bull run hasn't started until our market cap gets back above a certain point, rather than the price of Bitcoin. Because the price of Bitcoin can, price of Bitcoin is going to be at like thirty thousand dollars, and the altcoins are still ha not going to be caught up. You know, and that's just an idea that nobody really wants to talk about. But you know, that's why you got to be in the right altcoins, the ones that are keeping up with Bitcoin right now. So yeah, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me let me know what you guys think about all these ideas. I put out some good ideas in this video. Yeah, peace.